Hi everybody, Namaste from Sarva. Welcome to today's Detox Flow Sequence. The twisting of the torso has affecting on the internal organs. So this class is all about the twisting. Okay, and this twisting asanas or this twisting series will help to strengthen your internal organs. And also it helps to keeping your digestive system become more and much more healthier. Okay, so let's start the practice. Take chin mudra upon your thighs, raising the sternum, gently close your eyes. Become aware of your breath. Take a deep breath in and slowly breathe out. Take another deep breath in and slowly breathe out. Take one more deep breath again. This time relaxation should be thorough. With a bright, a beautiful smile on your face, everyone. Now slowly and gently, you may open your eyes now. Look, friend. So let's start with the practice, okay? So before we begin, let's start with the Kapalabhati Kriya. So the Kapalabhati Kriya will help to give great massage for internal organs. It also helps strengthen your abdomen muscles. Let's start the practice here. Okay, so first, just take chin mudra upon your thighs with palms facing upward. Let's start Kapalabhati. Okay, inhale natural and exhalation should be forceful. With every exhalation, you need to draw your abdomen towards your spine. That's it. Okay. Just close your eyes and keep continue for 20 times, two rounds. Okay. Let's start. Close your eyes. and relax and release just feel the sensations in your body take position second round kapalabhati kriya don't open your eyes keep practice continuously okay let's start and relax and release take a deep breath into your abdomen and exhale completely feel the sensations in your body now slowly and gently you may open your eyes everyone so now we are going to practice a flow sequence of detox flow okay so let's start now. The first one will go for stretches, okay? So bring your hands next to your thighs, raising the sternum. As we inhale, raising your hands up, look upward, interlace your fingers and turn your palms facing out. Stretch them completely and look at your back of the palms. Hold this posture. Keep breathing and breathe out. Do not arch back. Do not hunch back. Lengthen your spine. Stretch your arms really higher. Hold this posture. Five. Look upward. Four, breathe normally and deeply. Three, two, and one. Now slowly look front in the same position. Bring your hands in front of your sternum. Make sure that your elbows are straight and strong. In the same position, inhale deeply. And exhale slowly. Bring your right hand behind your sit bone on the mat. And place your left hand on your right knee. Raising the sternum here. 
twist your trunk gently, look behind, look over your right shoulder. Hold this posture five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, center. And as you exhale, opposite side, place your left hand behind you on the mat and place your right hand on your left knee, raising the sternum and twist your trunk. Look behind, hold this posture. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now inhale, come back to the center and exhale, relax here. Now in the same method, we are going to practice a side bending. So now what you need to do, just drop your right elbow on the floor, grab your respective knee, okay? Open your left hand in here, over your head. Exhale, slowly stretch completely here. Hold this posture and focus where you feel having stretch. Five, four, breathe normally and deeply here. Three, this pose will help to increase the lateral bending of the spine. Two, and one now inhale slowly come back to the center come up gently all right then slowly drop your left elbow on the floor open your right hand over your head and stretch it completely here hold five breathe normally and deeply here and focus on your right side of the body okay and feel the stretch four three two and one inhale come back to the center and exhale, relax. Now here we are going to practice Parivrutta Janu Sirasasana with a gentle flow, okay? So now here, keep your right leg straight and strong. Very simple, okay? And close your foot, okay? Take your foot inside and drop your right hand on the floor. Very simple, right? Now slowly inhale, left hand up. Exhale, slowly go down here, breathe normally, hold five four three two and one inhale slowly come up in the same position and exhale place your left hand behind your sit bone place your right hand on the floor and draw your right toes on the floor there okay and also keep your right leg straight and strong twist your trunk as much as you can if you can able to take your right hand back you may go ahead here and twist as much as you can hold this posture Lengthen your spine and feel the stretch on your external left oblique muscles. So this pose will help to toning your entire torso, okay? I'm sure definitely will love it when you hold the posture longer time. You will feel the sensation, you will feel the deep stretch and also it helps to work to getting loose weight, okay? Just works, okay? Just hold this posture. 10, 9, breathe normally everybody. Eight, do not put pressure on your nose, on your face. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now inhale, slowly come back to the center and exhale, relax here. Now come back into normal position. The same method opposite side. Keep your left leg straight here and take your foot closer to your perineum. Okay, just drop your left elbow on the floor. So now open your right hand over your head. If not happening today, if you find it difficult to get the elbows on the floor, you may keep your left hand here straight and slowly go down like this. But you need to work to getting your left elbow to the floor. Hold five, breathe normally and deeply. Maintain the smile on your face, everybody. Four, breath should be normal and deeply here. Three, focus where you feel having stretch or pain. Two, extend your right arm over your head, really higher level. And one, inhale, slowly come back to the center. And exhale, place your right hand behind your right sit bone. Drop your left toes on the floor, lift your left sit bone off the floor. Now here, bring your left hand back. Twist your trunk as much as you can. Twist your torso, look straight and hold this posture for 10 seconds. 10, nine, now here, you need to take inhale into your abdomen and your abdomen like a balloon, you will have the deep stretch. 
while inhalation you will have the deep stretch on your external right oblique muscles it helps to reduce fat faster hold this posture seven six five four three two and one now inhale slowly come back to the center everybody and exhale sit comfortably and easily here so let's start flow sequence of twisting okay let's start here please come in front of your mat everyone stand with the feet together <clears throat> take namaskar mudra now inhale raising your hands up lengthening your spine exhale bend forward into padhastasana inhale take right leg back exhale left leg back into down of facing dog now in the same position here what you need to do inhale slowly take your left leg up towards the roof and exhale slowly fold your left knee and bring it under your left right arm fit here and drop the sit bone keep your right leg straight and fold your left knee gently and twist your trunk more okay twist as much as you can hold this posture okay hold this posture for 10 seconds and feel the stretch on your left external oblique muscles again 10 9 8 breathe normally and deeply 7 6 Five, four, three, two, and one. Now inhale slowly. Come back to the center, and as we exhale, take your right toes in. Pick up the right knee off the floor. Inhale, bring your left leg back into down of facing dog. The same method opposite side. Very gentle move here. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, fold your. right knee place it under your left arm fit on the floor okay and just go down there and drop your foot drop your left knee and toes back here very gentle okay do not keep it straight just twist your trunk more here that is very important you need to work on your torso that's the very important uh things here okay just hold 10 9 8 Eight. Focus very feel having stretch or pain. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now inhale slowly. Come back to the center. And as we exhale, take your left toes in. and come into down of facing dog take right leg back as well here okay so now inhale bring your right leg front and exhale push pelvic forward now inhale raising your right hand up come into parshva trikonasana hold tri parivrutta parshva trikonasana five four look upward maintain the back leg straight three two and one then slowly drop your right hand on the floor and drop your left knee down and drop your left knee down and stretch your toes pointing back with inhale raising your hands up palms together and exhale push pelvic front and slightly bend back hold this posture for few seconds five and focus on your lower back four this pose will helps to strengthen your back muscle three two and one now here and exhale take a left elbow over your right knee twist your trunk as much as you can come into parshva namaskar asana position hold 5 4 3 2 and for now inhale raising your hands up and exhale slowly drop the hands on the floor then keep your right leg straight and slowly draw your hip back sit into half diamond posture make sure that your left foot should next to your left sit bone if you find it difficult to sit in this position no problem you may place your foot inside the leg okay you may place it like this 
Janu Sirasasana position. Or if you're okay, you can hold it like this here. Inhale, raising your hands up. Exhale, slowly bend forward. Grab your foot here. If you find it difficult to grab your foot, you may grab your ankle or shin bone, wherever you feel comfortable. But ensure that you need to maintain your back muscles should be straight and spine should be straight and lean. Hold this posture. Do not hunch back. Hold fine. Try to touch your forehead on your right knee. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now inhale all the way up. And exhale slowly. Bring your hands down there. Now place your left foot inside the right leg on the floor bring your left hand back inhale raising your right hand up exhale twist your trunk towards left side come into navkasana sorry come into vakrasana pose look behind hold this pose five four three look over your left shoulder you may place your right hand here three two and one now inhale come back to the center place your right foot here and drop your left knee down now inhale lift your pelvic up as much as you can this pose will help to strengthen your pelvic reason and just push pelvic as much as you can and slowly bring your right hand over your head hold five four three two and one inhale slowly come back to the center and as you exhale, relax the pose. From here again, come back into previous position. Inhale, slowly come up. Adjust your palms, friend. And take your left toes in. Pick up the left knee off the floor. And exhale, bring your right leg back into a downward facing dog. The same method opposite side. So now inhale, bring your left leg, front everybody, in between your palms. And drop your right knee down and stretch your toes pointing back. Push pelvic front here look forward with inhale raising your hands up palms together push pelvic front as much as you can and exhale slowly twist your trunk place your right elbow over your left knee twist as much as you can hold five four three two and one now inhale raising your hands up lengthening your spine and push pelvic front and as you exhale, drop your right hand on the floor, open your left hand up here. Tuck your right toes in, pick up the right knee off the floor, hold, five, keep breathing and breathe out. Four, three, two, and one. Then slowly drop your right knee down, drop your left hand down here. Stretch your right toes pointing back, inhale, raising your hands up again and slightly bend back, hold, five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, slowly drop the hands on the floor and slowly draw your hip back, come, come back into half diamond posture or three angamukai kapada paschimottanasana. Inhale, raising your hands up here. Exhale, bend forward, grab your foot or grab your ankle or grab your shin bone wherever you feel comfortable. Now slowly go down, try to touch your forehead on the kneecap. Hold five, four, three, two, and one. Now inhale, slowly come up and exhale, slowly bring your hands down here. Now in the same position, bring your right foot next to your left knee. Now bring your right hand behind. Inhale, lift your left hand up. Exhale, come into Vakrasana. Look back. Place your left elbow over your right knee. Five, four, three. Look over your right shoulder, everyone. Two, and one. Now inhale, slowly come back to the center. And exhale, take your right heel close at your perineum and drop your right knee down to the floor. And in the same position, adjust your right hand close at your right sit bone. Inhale, lift your pelvic up off the floor. And take left hand over your head and bend back as much as you can. Look back and hold five, four, three, two, and one. Now inhale, slowly come back to the center. 
and as we exhale relax the pose now here the same method just fold your right knee come into triyanga mukhaika pada paschimottanasana now from here come up drop the hands on the floor tuck your right toes in pick up the right knee off the floor come into downward facing dog now inhale drop the knees exhale sit back child from here inhale cobra exhale come into downward facing dog here now inhale fold your knees exhale jump front into sukhasana now unfold your legs now bring your knees together feet together place your hands behind the sit bone of the mat now twist your trunk one inhale center exhale twist opposite two inhale center exhale three inhale center exhale four inhale center exhale five inhale center exhale six now inhale center and exhale relax the pose sit comfortably for a while breath should be normal and deeply without putting any stress on your face or nostril so next we are going to practice twisting in the bharadvajasana position so i will show you front pose so what you need to do just sit comfortably first okay and take your right foot next your right sit bone fold it and place it nicely here now in this position just place your right foot next to right sit bone here inhale raising your hands up and exhale twist your trunk and place your both hands behind you on the mat just twist as much as you can lengthen your spine lengthen your torso okay lifting your torso away from the abdomen and this pose will help to strengthen your internal organs hold this posture and also it keeps your digestive system become more stronger hold five four three two and one now inhale slowly come back to the center and exhale relax now here just drop your right hand on the floor inhale open your left hand up exhale slowly bend towards right inside hold this posture for a while five four three two and one inhale slowly come back to the center and exhale relax now sit comfortably and easily the same method make it opposite side so what you need to do just bring your left foot out okay fold your left knee place your left foot next to your left sit bone okay just close your right foot okay take your right foot closer to your perineum inhale raising your hands up lengthen your spine exhale twist your trunk towards right side twist as much as you can hold this posture 10 9 lengthen your spine 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and one now inhale raising your hands up and exhale slowly drop your left hand on the floor bend towards left inside hold this pose five four breathe normally and deeply three two hold everyone and one inhale slowly come back to the center everybody and slowly exhale relax the pose now sit in sukhasana position breath should be normal and deeply here so next we are going to practice pranayama first we are going to practice chandra anuloma viloma pranayama and surya anuloma viloma pranayama after that we'll go for chandra bedhana and surya bedhana okay let's do it this four techniques today okay So sit comfortably take chin mudra upon your thighs raising the sternum up don't close your eyes now just you need to understand the concept how to do very simple the first one fold your first two finger take nashika mudra okay close your right nostril inhale through your left nostril and exhale through your left nostril do it for five times okay now you have to close your eyes everyone close your right nostril as well open your left nostril now inhale into your left nostril deeply exhale the same nostril to inhale deeply 
exhale the same nostril three inhale deeply exhale four inhale deeply and exhale last one more inhale deeply and exhale all right don't open your eyes the same method close your left nostril with the help of your ring finger open your right nostril now inhale right and exhale right for five times inhale through your right nostril exhale through your right nostril two inhale deeply exhale three inhale deeply exhale four inhale deeply and exhale last one inhale deeply and exhale awesome then slowly you may drop your hand upon your thighs don't open your eyes feel the sensations in your body now slowly and gently you may open your eyes everyone look friend next we are going to practice chandra vedana pranayama and surya vedana pranayama so first we'll practice chandra vedana pranayama so take left hand chin mudra again take right hand with nashika mudra so what you need to do first close your right nostril inhale through your left nostril first and close your left nostril open your right nostril exhale through your right nostril the same method okay inhale through your left exhale from the right you may close your eyes now and keep continue two more breath inhale through your left exhale through your right two more breath inhale through your left exhale through your right inhale through your left exhale through your right last one inhale through your left exhale to your right all right then slowly drop your right hand upon your thighs with chin mudra now you may open your eyes so next we are going to practice the same method that is called surya vedana pranayama so first again take nashika mudra close your left nostril with the help of your ring finger inhale through your right nostril exhale through your left nostril close your eyes everybody keep continue inhale through your right nostril exhale through your left nostril inhale through your right nostril exhale through your left nostril last one inhale through your right nostril exhale through your left nostril then slowly you may drop your right hand upon your thighs with chin mudra do not open your eyes maintain the smile on your face everyone keep your spine straight along with the neck and head just observe your breath for a few seconds take a deep breath in 
and as we exhale, relax into it. Take another deep breath. And as we exhale, relax even more into it. Take one more deep breath again. This time relaxation should be thorough. Now slowly and gently start rubbing your palms. Gradually increase the speed and feel the heat in between your palms. Cup your eyes. Bring your hands down gently. Open your eyes. Look at your palms. Thank you all. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day. Take care. Stay safe. Stay happy and healthy. See you in the next session. Until Namaste. Bye-bye.